I'm Paula Marie. Welcome to Boomer Best You. Today we're going to talk about how to preserve our attractiveness as we age. And you know what? It is not found in a jar. I'll start by telling you a little bit about my grandma Marion. I've looked at pictures of her when she was younger and she was a pretty attractive woman. She also had a carefully applied makeup and stylish hair. But as she got older, she quit wearing makeup and her hair turned gray, and yet people found her even more attractive. Maybe it was her smile or her genuine interest in other people, or maybe it was her generous spirit. But as each decade went by, she became even more beautiful. And it wasn't because she found some magic anti-aging formula in a jar. The anti-aging industry is worth about $50 billion globally each year and it's expected to grow. So that very term, anti-aging, which is a pretty clever term, but it means against aging. And so they're making a huge amount of money. The anti-aging industry is making a huge amount of money by promoting an unhealthy fear of aging. And what's worse is that women are the primary targets of those anti-aging messages. Why? That's because we've accepted the socially constructed notion that women's value, a woman's value, is based on her appearance. And that hurts everyone, except for those who are making big money telling us that being a younger woman is good and being an older woman is bad. Well, that's a bunch of bull. The truth is, most adults tend to be happier after they reach about 60. And personally, I love being an older woman. As one of my friends once said, you know, when you reach a certain age, you don't have to worry about gendered expectations. You're free to be who you really are. For me, if I want to color my hair, or if I want to wear makeup or not, I do it for me, not to meet somebody else's expectations. I also have the freedom to focus on who I want to become. And someday, I hope to develop uh, uh, into the kind of person my grandmother was with grace and compassion uh, that she learned over 96 years of living and that kind of beauty will never, never be found in a jar. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you have a truly beautiful week.